Welcome to GTC and thank you for joining us today. Before we begin, we wanted to cover a few housekeeping items. At the bottom of your screen are multiple application widgets you can use. All the windows on your screen are resizable and movable. If you have any questions during the webcast, you can submit them through the Q&A window to the right of the slides, and we will try to answer these at the end of the event. A copy of today's slide deck will be available in the GTC session catalog. You can find additional answers to some common technical issues located in the help widget at the bottom of your screen. An on-demand version of the webcast will be available approximately one hour after the webcast and can be accessed in the session catalog. Now, without further ado, we'll turn the event over to our Thanks speaker for to begin the presentation. I'm Adam Scrabba. In this session, I want to share how AI and intelligent video analytics is solving important problems across a range of industries, including smart cities, smart retail, and smart healthcare. I'll also cover the NVIDIA computing platform and solution ecosystem with specific examples of how AI is creating a really incredible value. Helping measure and manage high value physical assets, whether it's high value physical spaces, things, or the safety of and flow of people is really an impactful, important problem space um, to go and solve for. Um, operational efficiency and safety across an incredibly broad set of spaces has never been more important more valuable uh, than it is now. And it, it's increasingly getting more important. Even today, as we open up public spaces in a COVID-19 world, measuring occupancy, personal protective equipment usage, distance between people in confined spaces is all really important work. Uh, helping city planners measure how traffic flows through a city to design better and safer roadways. Retailers solving waste and, and to enhance customer experience in their stores. Uh, in healthcare, making patients in a hospital safer, or improving the experience and efficiency of flying, improving business outcomes for airlines, airports, uh, along with the management of airline fleets on the tarmac. Really, the best sensor to measure movements in physical space is truly the video camera. Video is easily the most widely deployed IoT sensors the world has ever seen, the most powerful. So many questions uh, you can answer through vision. It's a massive opportunity. It's a computationally intensive problem. It's an AI problem. It is predominantly an edge inference problem, and it's also a data problem. Um, so I want to share with you how NVIDIA is arming enterprises and customers to solve their AI vision problems. To give you a sense of the type of work we do in smart cities, how does this actually look and get deployed in the field? I want right from the start to show you some examples that I think go beyond what you might expect from AI in the smart city. A few years ago, we were very happy uh, to put down bounding boxes around a car or a truck and tell you with 70% accuracy that we identified and classified that this was in fact a car or a truck in an image or video. You know, and a few years ago, that was magic. Today, that's a solved problem. We've moved far beyond this. We, ha we now have a large and, growing, uh, large and growing ecosystem of partners building on our platform, training neural networks with millions of images, deploying on GPUs from the edge to the cloud. And now the challenge is how to put that AI to work uh, in as many hands as possible across many verticals. Um, what I'm sharing with you now is a, is a new generation of productivity tools where AI is built into the tool from the beginning to further the goal of productivity, operational efficiency, and safety. You know, if it's retail, maybe it's to understand how people are flowing through public spaces, uh, how to make roadways safer. Now we can put together uh, incredible productivity tools with amazing data dashboards that allow city planners, for example, with no data science experience, experience uh, expertise or, or need to understand AI to be incredibly productive, to understand with incredible depth what's happening on city streets and public spaces and, and with, with incredible data dashboards. Um, you know, we can put this AI to work uh, with edge computing right at the street level, right into the light pole so that we can instrument public spaces with the depth and ability to extract, extract insights that we never had the ability to, to, to do before, thanks to AI and thanks to edge computing. Uh, you know, partners are instrumenting public spaces, looking at complete cities, um, deploying these edge-based devices, a, a lot, you know, some, in some cases in Jetson, uh, in some cases with a, with a T4 GPU uh, in a server, um, and, and, and to extract real-time insights, um, giving city officials and planners the data they never had access to before. Uh, in some of their most valuable pieces of city real estate, uh, covering some valuable assets like people. Um, and all of this is in, is in real time, which is incredibly important. 
Um, you can imagine some of the issues that come up with things like wrong way drivers, an, an, an accident may have just occurred. The ability to deploy certain city resources when they need it is, is super important. Now, classifying an object, inferring position and presence is one type of analytic that we can help use video to help with. Um, but co context, identifying abnormal activities is also incredibly valuable. Situational awareness, when abnormal situations are unfolding, we have partners leveraging GPUs and AI uh, to raise real-time alerts to operations teams, whether it's a university campus, a factory, a transit hub, retail, finance, financial institutions. You know, again, time to insight really matters. Um, and it's not, it's, not, uh, it's not just identifying that something is in uh, a frame of video, but what is happening over the course of many frames, over the course of time. Um, this is a, a new class of activity analytics um, that, um, that is super important um, for, for many different verticals. Now, in smart city use cases, people tend to think about traffic. Uh, you know, traffic an analysis is one of many verticals, one of many use cases we, we help solve. This particular example right now that's on the screen that I'm showing is very interesting. One of the use case, uh, one of the use cases, one of the uh, you know areas is a focus on transit hubs, and in this case, airports and airlines. It turns out that incredibly high value asset for an airline uh, is their fleet of aircraft, and an airport is is their tarmac. When the plane lands, the ability to get a plane into the gate, refueled, cleaned, get luggage on and off, replenish food, and so on, and turned around. Um, is, uh, is, is incredibly important. The orchestration of events is complex and the ability to reduce an aircraft turnaround time is, is incredibly valuable. With video analytics and AI, we, uh, now have, uh, we can now instrument the tarmac with video and the entire sequence of events with incredible accuracy. You can see all these bars of activity that surround the plane. To the extent that we can compress these events and do things more efficiently results in huge productivity gains for the airline and a major reduction in waste. This is an important use case just to show because it illustrates the breadth of how AI and video analytics can improve uh, operational efficiency and create a amazing value uh, that are outside of perhaps what you think of. You know, whenever there's important assets that move, um, whether that's, they move fast or slow, we, use, we can use video and, and AI to, to instrument it. Uh, the work NVIDIA is doing in 5G is going to be an incredibly important area for edge computing. There's no doubt, and certainly in the smart city and video analytics space. I wanted to share with you an exciting solution, our NVIDIA EGX 5G end-to-end -end system. Incredibly advanced tool built for telecom customers to deploy compelling new offerings. In this case, it's a traffic analysis solution. Um, you know, on the left is the NVIDIA aerial 5G physical layer, signal processing stack, there's a Mellanox switch. And we use deep stream uh, in the MEC to ingest the streams and perform streaming analytics. Uh, in this case, a ResNet model is classifying cars and pedestrians from you know, multiple video streams all in real time. So 5G, NVIDIA Aerial, uh, and, and edge computing in Mac is gonna be very interesting and important. Um, now, much of what I sh have shown you is traditional you know, analytics where a static camera is mounted above space, watching for movement, inferring activity of, of relatively fast moving objects. Um, another approach is to instrument fleets of vehicles to move around an instrument space that way. This is a partner of ours uh, that instruments uh, cities with high-resolution cameras and LiDAR to create incredibly high-resolution 3D point clouds um, where, there are instrument, you know, where, the, where the instrumentation of, of space is done in 3D. These point clouds are then run through an inference pass whereby the objects are classified and measured. Um, and as you can see, street lights, potholes, trees, buildings, all street furniture that a city planner wants data on can all be measured and geotagged with information uh, even when things change over time. You end up with an incredible database of geolocated classified objects uh, with data that, that, that could change over time for your city. Um, so it's, it's incredibly powerful um, and it's sort of a different way to, to leverage AI, edge computing and video analytics. Um, you know, here's an example of, of what I described where a city worker would literally have to go out physically and measure certain pieces of city assets that now can be done automatically uh, through video and, and AI. You know, tag it as a bridge, um, tag it as a street light, um, spin the model around because it's truly a 3D model, uh, the, you know, a digital twin of the city. Um, and and these, are, these, are, uh, these are insights that uh, are at a city scale that, that people just didn't have. Uh, and now I'd that, like to share with you insight. some specific customer examples of how the NVIDIA uh, computing platform uh, is being leveraged across a, a broad array of, of use cases. The first one that's very interesting is uh, our work with Verizon. 
uh, to help make communities safer, smarter, and greener. Uh, Verizon Smart uh, Communities Group um, has been working with cities and communities around, around really the world to find ways to improve traffic flow, enhance pedestrian safety, and optimize parking by incorporating edge computing and the NVIDIA Jetson platform and the Metropolis platform into uh, their smart cameras in, into streetlights. Um, so Verizon is leveraging the NVIDIA uh, GPU's deep learning performance to analyze multiple streams of video to create incredibly rich data dashboards for cities. Retailers like Timberland want to understand, ideally, each customer's journey as they move through a store to get insight on how to deliver a better experience, to, to, to get insight as to how the customer experiences the physical space of the store. Gaining insights into specific segments of customers allowed Timberland to create spaces and experiences, actually fairly tailored experiences, that resulted in a more delighted customer base and, frankly, a higher sales revenue. And this was work that we did with a, a close ecosystem partner of ours called Skyrec. Automakers have a similar space utilization challenge. Since cars are an occasional big-ticket purchase, much of an automaker's retail success really relies on the showroom experience. So car companies look to their storefronts to deliver an easy-to-navigate, optimized layout that enhances the shopping experience. This particular example is some work that we did with Mercedes-Benz Consulting, leveraging an ecosystem partner of ours called ModCan to uh, leverage the NVIDIA platform uh, and all of our video analytics capabilities to create real-time insights in the store to uh, allow automakers to design much better experiences. As I shared earlier, an incredibly valuable physical asset to measure and manage is an airline's aircraft fleet. Every moment not moving passengers around and collecting airfare is waste from an air, uh, airline perspective. The ability for our ecosystem partner, Asaya, to leverage deep learning and real-time edge computing to understand the various mechanisms of getting an aircraft turned around quickly is critically important. Time to insight matters. Accuracy matters. Uh, they, live, they lean heavily on GPU-accelerated video analytics to deliver huge, huge value to airlines. We've showed a number of examples where the asset in question to analyze, to measure, was moving relatively fast. But some assets need to be monitored over longer periods of time, like industrial equipment. They don't move very fast, but they do need to be analyzed and, and measured and monitored. In many industries, ensuring asset and facility uptime, as well as, safe, as, well as safety and regulatory compliance, is truly non-negotiable. Companies can spend well over $100 million annually on industrial inspections. Risk-based inspection methods involve massive amounts of data to assess and rank component failure, probability, and consequence. A customer of ours, Avatas Systems, predicts that its AI-enabled visual inspection video analytics solution will decrease annual inspection costs by around 25%, reduce maintenance downtime by 15%, and increase inspection turnaround time by about 25%. So these are huge, huge uh, bits of value uh, for a company leveraging AI and vision technologies. So what is behind all of these solutions? What's, what's the technology? What is the compute and what's the software behind all of these solutions to make it all work? Well, NVIDIA has an amazing platform, truly the world's best compute and software to train neural networks and deploy neural networks from the edge uh, to the cloud. Uh, on the edge side, in some cases, it's a small device inside of a camera, uh, could be a small uh, edge appliance, could be a, a, a server, a workstation, or in, in, uh, in, in the cloud. And in, in arguably, every major cloud provider has, has NVIDIA GPUs. The technology uh, and the products are here, and we have an incredible uh, ecosystem of partners that, is develop that are developing on, on this platform. So what I'm now going to do is I'm going to share with you how all this gets put together into a truly compelling uh, developer and go-to-market platform that we call Metropolis. We built Metropolis to bring video analytics, AI-enabled video analytics solutions, video analytics solutions to market much more seamlessly for a broad set of vertical markets. It's built for really two types of customers. First, 
developers wishing to create world-class AI solutions from the ground up. And second, for integrators or end customers wanting to leverage existing building blocks or applications to solve their problems. So starting from the bottom, the Metropolis platform is really built on NVIDIA EGX hardware, whether it's uh, edge computing embedded devices leveraging the NVIDIA Jetson platform, or whether it's racks of EGX servers uh, leveraging you know, T4 GPUs in them, all with built-in support for Kubernetes, Docker containers, storage, networking, and security. Uh, we, you know, we think about deploying fleets of hardware, which is why we uh, leverage NVIDIA EGX. Above that is CUDA X Tensor RT Triton Inference Server to optimize the, the performance on whatever target uh, GPU platform you're running. Above that is very importantly uh, the NVIDIA Metropolis stack, all based on really the, the DeepStream SDK, a, a incredibly uh, a powerful SDK to build very custom, complex, and highly performant video pipelines, leveraging neural networks. Um, Increasingly, we're uh, uh, arming developers with pre-trained video analytics models that have been pre-trained with millions of images, very highly accurate, very performant. Uh, developers can leverage our transfer learning toolkit to take pre-trained models or, or train their own models and optimize them and augment and increase time to solution. Um, and so we have this incredible vi uh, NVIDIA Metropolis uh, stack for developers. And above that in gray, the next level up, is really our ecosystem, this incredible ecosystem that we've built. Um, whether it's specialty OEMs that have put together software and hardware and built more of a verticalized solution to fit into certain constraints they have, or whether it's the hundreds of Metropolis applications that we've built uh, across a huge range of specialty software providers, whether it's retail analytics, smart city analytics, um, airport analytics, that just the list goes on of the specialists that have built apps that are Metropolis applications. And above that, our go-to-market partners, our systems integration partners, our consultancy partners that do either a little or a lot of their own development work or leverage the incredible ecosystem that we've built. All of this is Metropolis. Um, it's for developers or uh, integration or end customers. So really, as a summary, Metropolis at its core is four things. Train, build, partner, deploy. If you're a solution application developer wanting to build high-performance customs applications, uh, you need the first two things, really. You need the ability to train using pre-trained models, transfer learning to build you know, accurate AI faster, uh, and the build bucket, which is leveraging the DeepStream SDK to put it all together. If you're an end customer or integrator looking to put together a solution from existing applications, you need the second two buckets, partner and deploy. Uh, you'll want to make it easy. Um, you know, you'll want to leverage a huge, uh, our, huge, our huge application uh, ecosystem of partners and specialists um, that, that specialize in apps from many capabilities. And you certainly want to deploy and manage a, a fleet of compute to run your applications. Um, by leveraging, you know, all of the, the tools, the Kubernetes management layers and, and the over-the-air updates that we're enabling with our platform. So four things, train, build, partner, and deploy. For developers to drastically accelerate time to solution, we built two incredible tools, Transfer Learning Toolkit for training and optimization and DeepStream SDK for deployment. Uh, for common objects to measure, we are increasingly open sourcing pre-trained purpose-built models, uh, as I mentioned, trained with millions of images, highly accurate, highly performant, um, and that can be bolted directly into Transfer Learning Toolkit with speed up in development times by up to 10x, uh, and then, and then uh, flowing through into the DeepStream SDK. You can leverage pre-trained models and still use the Transfer Learning Toolkit and still get incredible performance, or uh, you can completely customize your models, with, of course, at the expense of uh, training and, and development time, but still being able to plug into the DeepStream SDK. So really many options with our toolkits, um, with various degrees of, of speed and time to, time to, uh, to, to solution. Um, I highly encourage you to learn more about Transfer Learning Toolkit and DeepStream. There are actually are two GTC sessions uh, one dedicated for Transfer Learning Toolkit and the other for DeepStream uh, that I highly encourage you to, to watch uh, during this GTC to, to, to learn quite a bit more about these incredibly powerful SDKs. There's not only an incredible 
uh, value from a time to uh, solution standpoint, but there's also an incredible value uh, in leveraging our tools, the Transfer Learning Toolkit and DeepStream SDK set of tools uh, for performance, where the result is performance per dollar of your solution. Uh, you know, it's truly stunning how this effort reduces costs, uh, removes waste, and improves performance. The example I'm showing here is actually fairly representative uh, uh, AI video analytics pipeline example with, with multiple neural networks. Notice the gain in number of streams with the use of the Metropolis SDKs. And this is what NVIDIA really does with a lot of our um, analytics software vendors. Certainly, we recommend our developers to leverage all these tools uh, as a way to, to really reduce the, 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 the dollars of waste in, in a solution to unlock amazing performance and just, frankly, to build a better solution. So very much encourage all of you to, to learn more about the DeepStream SDK and Tensor uh, and, and the Transfer Learning Toolkit. Now, that was really for developers. Uh, now let's talk about leveraging the Metropolis platform from an ecosystem perspective if you're an integrator and end customer. Our ecosystem is arguably the crown jewel of what makes Metropolis so powerful and so important. There's no ecosystem like this one for video analytics in the world. Uh, it represents the most powerful and value set of capabilities, specialists, and go-to-market partners you could really ask for. Starting at the bottom, uh, of course, we've got our OEMs that are specialty OEMs who build, you know, various software plus hardware uh, solutions. We've got system builders that build our GPUs into their servers or workstations. Above that, we work with a range of video management software, VMS providers, uh, that act as sort of an aggregation point for many networked video streams. Above that is, like I mentioned earlier, literally 200 plus uh, software, um, software specialists and startups that are building AI-enabled and GPU-accelerated apps uh, to solve a highly diverse and broad range of applications. And above that, it's our go-to-market partners, our systems integrators, our, our VAR partners, our, our uh, GSI, our global solution integration partners, our consultancies, who can put all of this together uh, and, and build incredibly powerful and customized solutions uh, for our partners. So all of this is truly a really key to, to the Metropolis platform. It's the ecosystem partners of, of solutions um, and, and capabilities. Let's put this all together now. If we take an example of a common smart space set of problems that, that many physical spaces want solved, whether it's a sporting arena, a stadium, a university campus, an office space, a smart city, perhaps a, a retail environment. Real-time real video analytics is critical. Time to insight matters. Accuracy uh, matters. We and our go-to-market partners work together to create solutions for each of these problem spaces, often leveraging existing, uh, or often leveraging multiple existing applications or apps uh, across multiple vendors. We build what we call app packs that map applications with problems like the ones you see here. Things like crowd density, parking management, access control, uh, abnormal behaviors, mask verification, queue length. We bring it all together into an app pack to help solve very verticalized um, solutions uh, and make it far easier to, to, to actually you know, develop um, and, and, and accelerate time to, to solutions for our partners and customers. An important high impact problem space uh, to leverage AI-enabled video analytics is in the healthcare facility of the future, where uh, increasing a hospital's operating efficiency, the, the ability to amplify the care a hospital can provide by adding additional vision capability to every aspect of caregiving is an incredibly important space. Uh, we built a platform on top of Metropolis to solve for this called Clara Guardian. Uh, and this leverages um, edge computing and AI to solve a range of problems from patient monitoring, safe social distancing, fall prevention, all the way into the surgery room. Uh, we call it Clara Guardian, and it leverages video analytics um, heavily. I encourage you to learn more about this platform. Uh, it's very, very powerful and very impactful. Retail represents another important market where instrumenting high-value real estate and high-value physical space uh, is important. Uh, there's an incredible amount of operational efficiency to gain in retail with the use of AI-enabled vision and video analytics. 
Um, safety and crowding is an important thing to measure and control uh, currently, reducing the billions and billions of dollars of theft through asset protection and in-store analytics. Um, and that includes things like stockout and placement. There's really a breadth of applications within retail where video analytics is increasingly playing a bigger and bigger role. As part of our tool set to make it easier to explore and deploy vetted video analytics applications, we built a Metropolis validation program, working closely with software vendors, helping guide them to focus their efforts on better and better products, generating documents to help integrators and go-to-market partners sell and deploy this at scale in a repeatable form. Um, we built this validation, this, this validation program, this streamlined deployment program. Consistence dozens, consists of dozens of applications validated on very standard EGX servers from well-known OEMs uh, and T4, uh, you know, armed with T4 in, in each of these servers, expanding soon to RTX GPUs and Jetson appliances. We work closely with the developers to optimize applications and algorithm performance, focusing their efforts to deploy on more narrowly defined hardware um, and as a result, Metropolis validated applications are, are far easier to, to deploy. Um, they're far easier to, to, to deploy and manage and, and repeat. And the output of this validation program is a certification sizing guide, uh, Docker containers, Helm charts, just really all the tools to make deploying video analytics far easier uh, and, and actually, frankly, far uh, more cost effectively. As I mentioned, Metropolis validated applications are simply lower cost to deploy given that the ease and the time to deployment and management is far easier. But there's also uh, a performance uh, advantage. There's a performance and a cost uh, advantage with Metropolis applications. So how does this actually look? Here's an example of a particular vendor. As you can see, this actually is a lower cost solution from a throughput perspective um, due to um, the fact that we work very closely with, with each of these software vendors to, um, to, to optimize their algorithms, uh, oftentimes um, ha helping them leverage DeepStream SDK, helping them leverage Transfer Learning Toolkit. Uh, in this example, as you can see, there is 2x lower cost, um, half the servers, and, and, and simplified infrastructure management from all of the validation work we've done. So all in all, uh, a significant cost advantage to Metropolis validated applications. And this is just a really good example of kind of the work that we do uh, to streamline the adoption and the, and the scale out of AI enabled video analytics through the Metropolis platform. So what next? How to get started? Well, for integrators and end customers, there's really a very simple call to action. Um, first off, please learn more about NVIDIA Metropolis. Uh, we've got incredible uh, information on our website. Um, so learn more about it um, and sign up for uh, the link at the bottom, uh, metropolis.nvidia.com. Sign up for an account, which allows you to do number two, which is browse our certified application catalog. Um, go and build a deployment with multiple applications, specify the number of camera streams and the resolution and the frame rate, and completely build out a complete deployment and learn about how many servers you need with really rich sizing guides. And three, just go and deploy uh, a Metropolis app, app containers. Start small, uh, but think big. Uh, and, and the reason I say that is, is you know, start with, with maybe one or more capabilities, one or more apps, but, but go into it thinking and knowing that the, the, the number of applications will probably explode um, as you see the performance and the, and the value that these applications provide. So again, learn more about NVIDIA Metropolis, go sign up for metropolis.nvidia.com and go and deploy containers today. If you're a developer looking to design highly custom, highly accurate and performant video analytics solutions, applications, software, uh, there's really three things to go and do. The, the, the call to action, again, is very simple. First off, go and explore our pre-trained models to get an, a, an absolute kickstart in your development process. Second, go and learn about and create your own custom models uh, and optimize um, for the target platform of choice using the Transfer Learning Toolkit. Incredibly powerful um, and, uh, and incredibly powerful regardless of how you want to, to train uh, or which kind of models you wish to, to use. And third, go and build AI uh, into your application with DeepStream SDK. 
Um, and, and lastly, I would definitely encourage you to go and explore the DeepStream and the Transfer Learning Toolkit GTC talks that we have available this GTC. Uh, they're incredible talks. And uh, there's also connect with experts sessions that allow you to ask a lot of really interesting questions. So three things. Uh, again, get started today. These are all the documentation is on our uh, developer.nvidia.com site with amazing developer blogs as well. Thank you everyone for joining this session. Adam Scrubber will now be answering questions. Adam? Yeah, great, thanks. Um, so yeah, the, I think the first question um, that I see is, um, do you see a trend in edge versus cloud uh, video analytics? Um, it's, a, it's a great question. Um, you know, it, it, it's one of these things where it really, um, it, it really depends on on the, uh, the the partner constraints, I don't think that that I see a, a necessary trend uh, one way or the other. I definitely see a lot more uh, edge based um, uh, solutions uh, for a couple reasons. I think one because frankly the the bandwidth just the pure bandwidth of video is um, you know when you when you start adding up hundreds of camera streams, uh, the bandwidth becomes you know really intense, and frankly a lot of the the weight of that bandwidth is actually pixels that that um, is is not super important. You know, the metadata tends to be important. So we definitely see a lot of partners putting uh, compute right at the edge. Um, you know, in some cases, you know, right right near the the, the camera streams themselves, like you know, like right up against the cameras. Um, I think we're also seeing privacy is is an, is an increasingly important aspect um, where uh, you know the kind of the closer you can put the compute to the to the video, the the, the more you can preserve privacy. And, um, you know, a lot of a lot of the identification and, and the, the the actual frames of video is is not the interesting aspect. It's it's sort of the it's the it's the real time insights. Um, and also from a real time perspective, uh, some some real time is real time, like milliseconds matters. Um, so some of that that round trip time between um, you know edge and the cloud can can really matter. Um, so I don't know. I'd say definitely uh, edge uh, is is, uh, is is sort of more what we see. Um, but but certainly there's there's quite a bit of cloud as well when when you don't need um, you know where when real time it, when you've got a, you know some seconds or it's a, like sort of forensic uh, investigation can be done that's, that's you know cloud is a great place um, to go um, that's that uh, another question is how do I get my application into the Metropolis Validation Lab and, and also just how how do how do I become an ecosystem partner so. Uh, I would recommend, I think I mentioned it in one of my slides, which I think these slides uh, and this presentation will be on demand in a few hours, so you can always refer back to it. But if you go to um, metropolis.nvidia.com, um, that's metropolis.nvidia.com, that's actually a really great place to sign up and to browse through some of our um, uh, applications and um, and sort of see what the validation lab you know kind of give it a test drive and sort of see what it looks and, and, and feels like and when you sign up for it um, that kind of puts you into our uh, database and we can you know we definitely will reach out to you and and, and connect um, so that's probably the best way to do it um, is is through metropolis.nvidia.com um, uh, there's a question around um, 5G is 5G requirement for full Metropolis deployment, or is it more like an enhancement? Yeah, it's you know Metropolis is a, it's a really good question. So Metropolis is is very much you know it's a, it's a set of capabilities um, that we have put together in sort of a co cohesive uh, framework and a cohesive uh, platform. And so it's um you know it's not like something is more <laughs> Metropolis than, than something else. I think that these are all you know you can still be uh, leverage Metropolis and not use DeepStream. We have partners that do that. Um, so 5G, you know, in this case, is very much uh, an enhancement. You know, it's it's a it's something that that you can, um, you know, if you leverage uh, our aerial SDK with video analytics, that's an incredible deployment option. And I think it'll probably speed your time to market um, uh, when you use a lot more of these SDKs and, and and you know components of each platform. But it's definitely not a requirement. Um, so that's that's you know important important question I appreciate that um, 
there is a question around uh, what is Metropolis' future roadmap? Well, um, that's obviously very you know difficult for, for us to, to answer. Um, I think that what you can you know what you can expect is um, you know like like we've been doing with with DeepStream and Transfer Learning Toolkit. I think it is really a focus around um, a really a, a focus around uh, workflow and and how how productive we can make uh, developers um, building, you know, super, super complex, um, you know, pipelines and, and video analytics. Um, so I would see, I would say that's, you know, definitely from a, from a Metropolis standpoint, I think that's what you should you know, definitely expect. Um, and the cool thing about Metropolis is it's, you know, it's one of these things that I, I think I mentioned that it's, it's really one of these um, uh, incredible platforms where you can, you know, develop very quickly and, and create an application uh, and and you can deploy, all, you know, almost code once and deploy anywhere. You know, with with some very minor tweaks, you can deploy on AWS or Azure or uh, in the cloud. You can deploy on a server or you can you know deploy on on a Jetson um, embedded device um, without without you know without completely you know uh, tearing up your your code. So um, so I, I would say look towards um, that kind of capabilities uh, more as, as well. There is uh, another question here, uh, which is, uh, how do I deploy a real-time IV application? So I think you know I, I mentioned that um, the, uh, the you know the, the best way to do this um, is, uh, like I said, you know, go and take a look at some of these um, these uh, uh, pre-trained models. Uh, you know, I you know I think we we generally really advocate you start there. You know, take a look at those pre-trained models. You leverage the transfer learning to, to, to maybe customize to your um, use case very quickly, um, and it plugs in so beautifully into DeepStream. And and it's you know it's, and I know I know I've said this multiple times. I definitely encourage you to go take you know to, um, uh, watch Amelia's uh, DeepStream talk and go and see Chinton's uh, transfer learning toolkit talk. The magic you know some of the magic of DeepStream is that a lot of this really complex memory management. Um, has been just done automatically. It's just built into the SDK. It's it's you don't even have to think about it. It just um, it just uh, you know it it creates this incredibly optimized set of um, you know orchestration of all the resources of whatever target uh, GPU or, or your compute platform you're, you're you're on. So it's it's pretty magical in terms of you know hiding a lot of complexity, um, but it's super super powerful. So um, yeah, DeepStream and Transfer Learning Toolkit. You should. Um, I'll definitely go and, and, and attack that uh, immediately. Um, there's a good question around uh, uh, Jets and Nano and its resources. How much can be done with Nano as as far as Metropolis? Um, so you know, Nano is actually you know it's it's a little it's a little powerhouse. Um, typically, what happens with with Jetson is it really is often more of a question of how many camera streams can you uh, can you analyze. So nanos, I mean, you know, depends on on how optimized your your stack is, you know, and, and frankly, you know, going not to not to harp back onto DeepStream, but but if you can, even if you can leverage some pretty optimized um, software, uh, you can actually squeeze a lot of performance out of Nano and, and Jetson. So it often, what we find with with our partners is it's often a question of how many camera streams will an, will a Jetson device be able to um, to uh, to analyze. You know, not that obviously, it, it, you know, it's, it, that's a it depends kind of a question because it's you know it just depends on how much pre-processing you're doing, how many you know, networks are you running, um, uh, are you doing tracking, are you you know how complex is the stack? So it it, it very much um, it, it very much is, is all over the place. But we definitely have partners doing like a lot of really complex stuff on on Jets and Nano. Um, what other sensors in the infrastructure can increase the value? Uh, for Metropolis, um, so so there's you know there, there's, there's a number of things we we have partners that are starting to leverage uh, audio. Um, that's another you know super interesting um, aspect um, of the uh, as a, as an additional sensor. So you know you can now um, you know augment what you're seeing with what you're hearing, and that just gives you a whole new level of, of situational awareness, which is really powerful. Um, we definitely have partners starting to build in um, things like um, you know, there's, a, there's a partner that, that does um, and analyzes mobile device, um, you know, sort of what watches mobile device usage and create this sort of real time uh, kind of heat map of how cities are, uh, you know, how, how people are, are distributed around a city. 
Um, so that's kind of gives you gr like very, you know, like sort of very rough granular level of occupancy of, of a city corridor. Um, they use this kind of data to um, to figure out, you know, to predict and to create machine learning models to predict, you know, um, at 8 a.m. where are all the people coming from, which transit stations are they are they using, which roadways are they using, which, which corridors are, are they using. Um, so that that is, you know, that that rough granularity can then be put with finer granularity, which is like, okay, now I see a UPS truck on the corner, um, you know, or there is a literally a traffic jam here, or there is, you know, some road work happening here, and this has caused this in, in real time. Um, so I would say that's another um, that's another uh, interesting uh, sensor to, that, that that can be used with with Metropolis. Um, Wonderful, thank you, Adam. Yeah. Thanks. Um, thank you, everyone, for joining us to this session at GTC. Um, that was a great presentation, Adam, on uh, building the AI city with Metropolis. Um, to everyone, this session will be available on demand in the session catalog in a couple of hours. Have a wonderful day, and thank you again for joining us.